Hello everyone, welcome back to Thatch Joe Games. Now the last quiz that I did was the uh, Love Island quiz and you guys seem to like it. You seem to kind of enjoy it a lot more than I thought. So I thought whilst on the subject of uh, of like dating and stuff and that kind of thing and love, it made me think about myself thinking, do you know what? I should actually be out there getting dates, not doing date quizzes on the internet. Um, and then making myself realize how lonely and pathetic I really am. So I thought for today's video, let's do another quiz this time, how dateable am I actually? Because I don't know, it made, me, it made me think about my life, you know? I was like, wait, am I doing it right? Am I saying the right things? Is there a reason why I'm still single? And I guess we're about to find out. How dateable are you actually? This quiz uh, is on BuzzFeed. The thing is, right, I feel like this is quite a big moment for me. What if I find out that I'm just completely incompatible with everything and everyone? <sighs> okay, wish me luck. Here we go. On average, how many dates a month do you go on? Um, <laughs> zero, one to two dates, three to five, more than six dates a month. I mean, more than six dates a month, that's impressive. Uh, I would say it's somewhere between zero and one or two dates. There's some months where I go on like one date a month, I reckon. Is that with the same, per is with the same person or different girls? How am I supposed to know? I'm going to do it on the basis that it's with, uh, one girl, so I would go for one to two dates. But then there'll be a month where I don't date anyone, do you know what I mean? And then maybe three months in a row where I don't date anyone. But I'm gonna go one to two dates. Uh, your typical Friday night looks like pizza and Netflix, the, the club, as in like the club, drinks with friends, a quiet dinner, on the prowl or sleep, or dancing, or hanging with my SO. What's SO? Or none of these. Um, the thing is, it would have been the club, but I've I've changed my ways recently. I don't like going out as much anymore. But you know, I'm basing this on the last couple of months of my life, so it's gonna be the, the club, annoyingly. Oh dear, this is not gonna be good. I can tell. I don't even need to do this quiz. Or I can I can already tell how rubbish and useless I am. What is your weakness? I'm perpetually late. I'm too confrontational. I'm too detail orientated. My expect expectations are usually too high. I'm impatient, it's, it's my way or the highway, I'm a perfectionist, I'm too shy, I don't have any weaknesses. Now I would say I'm too shy. If you meet me in real life, um, it's, a, it's very annoying and it usually, I think it's something to do with my brain, right? It's become more of a therapy session than a quiz. Um, I, in my head, think that I'm too shy. When I go on dates, I'm not. I, I'm actually quite chatty, but in my head, I'm just terrified of there being an awkward silence. So I'm almost overly chatty because I'm trying to overcompensate for being quite shy. Um, so I'm going to say that I'm too shy. And then, cause we, afterwards, I always get back and think I didn't, I, di I wasn't myself enough, you know. I didn't, I wasn't silly around them. I didn't act like how I would normally act. I was trying to be too like, too cool, you know. When asked to cook, what do you do? Lol, cooking. What's that? I'll order in. Roll up my sleeves and get cooking. Cooking is my passion. Politely suggest that they cook. <laughs> I mean, no. Call my mum and get her the best recipe. I would roll up my sleeves and get cooking. As you guys know, I do enjoy a bit of cooking. Especially for other people as well. So I would 100% cook. What are your thoughts on marriage? I want to get married ASAP. Marriage is in the cards for me. Marriage is in the cards for me, but not right now. Haha, <laughs> no. Can I find a date first? Jeez. If it happens, it happens. The title of marriage isn't important to me, but a commitment is. Ooh. It's, I, do you know what, I feel like it's a mix-up between can I find a date first, geez, because, you know, it's been a few months. Um, and, it, maybe, and if it happens, it happens. And the title of marriage isn't important to me, but a commitment is. I'm going to go with the last one. I feel like marriage isn't that, like, say what you want. I feel like marriage isn't that important to me at the moment. Like, it, like it's a mixture of if it happens, it happens. But, you know, I would, I'm quite happy, I'd be quite happy to be in a long-term relationship with a girl and not get married, you know what I mean? Go a whole lot, is that being married? I'd be happy with that. It's up to them and me at the same time. Your ex hits you up after you change your Facebook status to in a relationship, what do you do? They were the love of my life, so I'd go back. Haha, <laughs> no. Tell them never, never to contact me again. I wouldn't respond at all. I'd talk to them, but have no intention of getting back. I'd alert my current partner to the, to the free and get their advice. Now, hmm, I would, 
I don't know my current partner. I would want to tell my current partner and be like, look, have you seen my, it's a bit weird, uh, don't be alarmed, but my ex is just messed up. I think I'd have to say something. But then I'd also, I, was, I, think, I, I think I probably wouldn't do that because I think that'd also cause drama. So I just wouldn't respond at all and just hope that my current girlfriend doesn't see it. I wouldn't respond at all. Palik, palik, palik a bloobly hall over there. Pick a celebrity to marry. Rihanna, Kristen Stewart, J-Lo, Chris Pratt, Mahershala Ali, or The Rock. Um, so for me, it'd be either Rihanna, Kristen Stewart, or J-Lo. Uh, I mean, if Chris Pratt and The Rock were female, then I would uh, I would probably pick one of them. To be honest, not, I'm not gonna lie. Chris Pratt's an absolute legend, so is The Rock. Rihanna, I feel like Rihanna, you, I feel like the marriage would not last. Is it to actually marry? Yeah, I've got to marry them. Um, things I feel like haven't the, the top the top three girls have all actually been married before, haven't they? And they and their marriages don't last very long. Actually, no. Has Rihanna been has Rihanna been married before? I don't know. <sighs> See, I really fancy Rihanna. I really fancy J Lo, Christian Stewart. I don't really, I don't fancy. I'm sorry, Christian, Kristen, Kristen, Kirsten, Kristen. I'd have to get, I'd have to dump Kristen. It's out of J Lo and Rihanna. I feel like J Lo's just more like she's more settled. Even though Rihanna's doing amazing and stuff, and she'd be great, and I do really fancy probably the most out of those three. I feel like J Lo would be more marriage material. I think she's older. She's like more. More, more like more relaxed in life. She's, I don't know. I would maybe make more, more private. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm gonna go with J Lo. Oh, okay, here we go. Drum roll, please. We're about to find out what percentage dateable I actually am. And I've, I've just seen it. It's, it's not, not great. I'm not gonna lie. How dateable are you actually? I am 65% dateable. That's over, that's over, that's over 50%. I'll go with that. You've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's not little, all right? It's definitely not little. But guess what? You're still a catch. If, you, if dating someone is something you want, just do it. Okay, so it's, it's just told me. It's just told me basically that you just need to stop being a wimp, Joe, and just go for it and start, start get on the dating game, you know? Why are you? Why are you why, you're wasting your life? You're wasting your younger years not getting out there and meeting new people and finding the right one. So find a needle in a haystack, you know. You've got to find a few rocks before you find the diamonds. That's two completely different references, but hey, take from that what you will. Uh, I encourage you to also take this quiz at home if you're already in a relationship and stuff. Then good for you. You're doing the right thing. But if you're like me, a little bit, a little bit shy, a little bit useless when it comes to dating, use this and it'll it'll sort of kind of reassure you. I hope hopefully. Who knows. I'm reading comments now. You got 99% dateable. You're a freaking catch. You're currently with someone. If you're currently with someone, you think they're lucky stars. If you're not dating, dating that want to be, all you have to do is put yourself out there. Your charm, wit, and effortless style will win anyone over. My husband, will be, my, my husband, will be happy to hear that. I don't know why I take these some of these quizzes. This reminds me of my dad. This reminds me of my. This reminds me of me. Dad's a muggle. Mam's a witch. Bit of nasty shock for me to be honest. How dateable are you actually? I got 50% dateable. The glass is half full or the glass is half empty. Either way, 50% is being half bad. <laughs> Someone put 10% dateable, huh? I'm honestly surprised it isn't lower, seeing that I've stopped trying. Not interested enough to make the effort. That's what I. That's what I feel like. I've met Sophia. I feel like we're the same. The same people. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Maybe we should date. I, I've. I've kind of. You get to a point where I stop trying. Once again, if I come into some sort of therapy. <laughs> 50% dateable, so I tried again with totally different answers and 50% dateable. Thanks, BuzzFeed. So there you go, guys. I am 65% dateable. Let people know that, okay? If you, you know, I am dateable. I, I'm, you know, I, I'd make a great date, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Help. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a ah. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss a future episode from this channel. And I will see you very soon with another video. Cheers. Goodbye.